Hi everyone, um, my name is Vinny and I'm one of the instructors here at the Presentation Arts Center. And today we're going to be making a Christmas wreath. And so I drew my inspiration from Pinterest, where I get a lot of my inspiration from. And um, this may not turn out exactly looking like this because sometimes you can't find the exact supplies, but it'll be close. So first thing you want to do is gather up all your supplies. And I have a 14 inch um, grapevine wreath here. Um, you can make it 16 inch, you know, you can make it 18 inch or you can go a little smaller. Um, you just remember the bigger you get, the more greenery you need. So um, I have greenery here. I have um, pine cones. I have a little owl that I'm gonna put in it. Um, I have some red berries. Um, so these will be all placed in the wreath. Okay, so first thing you're gonna do is start out with your limbs, the biggest ones, and um, kind of like bend them to the shape of your wreath. And I'm going to put them so that it's coming down this way and down this way, just like the picture shows. And like once we get these on, and you're, I, I'm not gonna flock this wreath, but if you wanna flock it, that would be the point to flock it because you don't want the flocking to get all over your pine cones and everything else. You just want it on the, the greenery. So we're going to stick this in the grapevine wreath, kind of bend that, and do the same thing with the other side. Sometimes you just got to find a little place to stick it in. Okay, so. Once you do that, you just kind of bend your, your um, branches to kind of follow the wreath, okay? A little bit of floral wire, um, and like I got the pre-cut just because um, it's easier to work with. You can get it on a spool too. The spool sometimes gets tangled up, so I like working with the, the, just the little pieces. They're about this long and they come in a bag and they're the same price as a spool is. Um, by the way, you know, I got most of my supplies were from Hobby Lobby, um, but I was at, not that I get any percentage for this, but I was at, at home, and a lot of their stuff is really, really cute and a lot less expensive than Hobby Lobby. But I had gone to Hobby Lobby already, so, but Hobby Lobby does have, their florals are like 50% off every other week, so never ever play, pay full price for them. Just wait for the week that they're on sale and they'll be 50% off. Their flowers, their greenery, sometimes their, um, their garland is on another week. Um, okay, so it's that, kind of like that. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. Just wire it down to the wreath. And the actual, actually, you know, this is really a simple wreath. You can take this and do whatever you want with it. You can go around the full wreath with um, the greenery, or, you know, it's really up to you. You can make it your own. Now I'm just gonna shape kind of shape my fur. And like, I, I do think that um, you have to kind of look at the sides a little bit too, because you don't want everything to be on top when you're finished with your wreath, because people kind of look at it from the side too. So I usually will take a look at it there and put a little wire around there too, so that your sides are kind of covered. And we're going to have some extra little picks that we're going to put in to make it fuller. And really all I'm doing is going through the little sticks, which sometimes it's kind of hard to, to see where, where they are. But uh, you just take your wire cutter and cut off the excess wire. OK. 
Okay, so I'm going to do the other thing, the other, same exact thing to this side. And it can be, you know, rather expensive to make a wreath, but it all depends on your supplies. Uh, sometimes, you know, I'll get filler from the dollar store, something that doesn't really show that much to fill with, or you just kind of shop and, you know, a lot of times the more, you know, expensive they are, the, the prettier your wreath turns out. But if you're working on a budget, sometimes you have to be creative. Mm -hmm. All right. I don't think I've ever seen you actually do this. Do this, yeah. This there's, is awesome because I don't, I don't do this well. There's no magic to it. Everybody <laughs> yes, thinks, is. oh man, you know that's really hard to do. It's not. <laughs> it, it's really just like having a picture and kind of like dissecting it and seeing, you know, okay, what did they use here? And I usually write down what you know what they ha have in the picture that um, I need. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there you go. That's start of, it looks kind of plain here. You're going to fill that in with bow, so it's not going to show. Okay, so next I will take um, my picks. I have two different kinds. I have one with little pine cones on it and one with the berries because I like sparkly stuff. Okay, <laughs> okay. so I'm kind of looking at my picture and uh, seeing, okay, where do I want them? Well, it doesn't really have these, so I'm just going to put them where I think it needs some extra greenery. Maybe like there. And like this is good to kind of slide it underneath. <clears throat> Sometimes too, you know, something doesn't look good. You just pull it back out and try again, okay? And uh, let's see here. And you might, you want to curve your branches. Sometimes you can cut them, but it gives, gives something to stick, you know, stick it into the, all right. I think I'm gonna go a little taller, a little higher with that one. Again, you know, like if you're doing this yourself and you don't have people watching you, <laughs> it's kind of like you can take your time, which I will try to do, but. And, and sometimes, you know, maybe um, I just have too much foliage and I don't need it all. It is a smaller wreath. I had it on hand, and so, you know, it may be that I can cut down on some of this foolish that I use. I might have a little bit extra. Okay. So those will stay in? You don't have to tie them in? Or these glue these are sturdy enough to... They're sticking in there, but I'm gonna. I am gonna put some wire around them too, gotcha. just just so that you know when you store them from year to year. Oh yeah. They're they're a little bit more stable. Is there a good way to store a wreath? I mean, do you have any of the, like wreath storing secrets? <laughs> you know, we in our garage we have one of those. Um, boards that have all the holes in them oh, that yeah. you can put the hooks on. A lot of times I'll just hook them up there. Mm -hmm. We don't have really enough for our Christmas wreaths. We usually try to put them in boxes if we, you know, if you have a big enough box, but the next year you get them out and they're kind of mashed. Yeah, you gotta like reflow. You gotta, we gotta, yeah. That's the other thing, you know, like if you get a, you got a, um, a green wreath that's just a, a a fur wreath and it is looking kind of tired, you know, you can just take out all the stuff and redo it with something new without having to go buy another wreath. That's a good idea. <clears throat> yeah, I think I have some wreaths at home that need some help. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, just give, utilize what you have. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and wire that down. Okay, so like I said though, if you're gonna flock it, which I do like flocking, it's a little messier, um, just be sure to do it when you just have your green stuff on. This, this little pine has a little sparkle to it, so I thought, uh, why cover that up? Yeah, I think that's really pretty. Yeah, okay, so now I'm gonna put the berries on, which I thought, you know, it gives it color. See, just the, the berries give it a lot of color, I think. <laughs> and you can, you know, after you get these wired down, you can kind of shape things you the way you want them shaped. It's good to kind of start these projects because, you know, Christmas will be here before we all know it. It's breathing down on us. <laughs> <laughs> So that's in. I'm going to just turn my berries and those little cute little things. You can pull them out a little bit if you want to make them a little, little longer. You can leave them short too. Okay. All right. So that's one. Now I'm going to go to the other side. And again, I kind of just want to shape it to the roundness of the wreath rather than have it, you know, sticking straight out. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just gonna wire that down. The bow that I'm going to add, I already made. You can buy them pre-made. I think Michaels has them. Um, or you can make them yourself. There's really no magic to them. The, the, um, I think the trick is, is always use a wired ribbon because it's really covers a lot of sins. <laughs> It'll, and it, it's, it, they turn out real cute when they're done. So at the end of the video, I might go get another ribbon and, and show you how easy it is to, to really make a ribbon. Usually, you need um, three yards of a ribbon to make a bow, rather. Okay. Wow. Which is usually a favorite. spool. Hmm? Oh, okay. A spool is usually yeah. three yards? Yeah, it usually comes in like a little spool. Yeah. It'll say it'll on there how, how much there's on there. Usually, there's three or four yards. That one I think was four yards to, to make that ribbon. And the other thing too that I do is um, I use a little twisty on the on the bow, um, just like a little wire floral. That's what I use, and it makes it look better. Okay. Okay, I might, I might move this one a little closer, give a little room. Okay, I cut myself some more wire. to being finished with our wreath. And just kind of tighten the wires and then stick them down into the wood. You could also use glue. I mean, you know, um, it's a little messier to work with and I think a wire works just as well. But I always have some on hand just in case I want to use a hot glue gun. 
Okay, so we're getting there. The next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna put our wire on. I mean, our, our bow on with the wire. And it just goes in the space that's kind of empty. You just, when you make the bow, you leave a, a, a nice wire tail so that you could wrap it around the wreath. So several inches? Yeah, like a, like this is the, the length of the stick. When I put it around the bow, I twist it and I just leave this whole whole um, the wire to wrap it around the wreath with. And then if you have too much, you can always cut it off. Okay. Okay. So then you just kind of fluff your bow up. And again, this is wire. So it's really easy to, you know, they do, they can get like mashed down when you storm and stuff. So, and like, I didn't know whether I wanted a tail on it or not. I left it. But if you don't like it, you can cut it off at the base. Okay, so the last thing we really have to do is um, this cute little owl. And he was really an ornament, but I'm gonna cut off the, the string that was for the ornament. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna glue him right down, right down there. So, okay, so I'm gonna take my hot glue gun, which is already heating, and I'm just gonna put a bunch of glue, use it kind of sparingly so it'll stick. Pick up your um, wreath so that you kind of have it positioned where you might have it on the wall. Hold your owl down. And again, I, you know, I, I just, like there was this that was there that I thought was cute. There was a swan that was white and fluffy. You could use a cardinal. It's really what you like. Okay, so that's our wreath. Look at that, oh my gosh. And, and like, um, the only thing we have left to do, I might need to put a little more glue on him or hold him till he dries a little bit, is put a little wire loop so that you can hang it. Or you, sometimes you can hang it right from this, the uh, twigs. But I like to put a little, I like to put a little um, wire because I like to hang it exactly the way I think it should look. Well, that is beautiful. Okay. And like this little guy keeps on wanting to come out. But, uh, <laughs> out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take a little wire and wire them to the base too, to, just for a little extra. Um, so where is that wire going? Is it like between his feet or where does it? Um, there's a little piece of pine there. What do you think? Do you think tails or no tails or shorter tails? Hmm. Like maybe here? Oh, I think shorter tails, yeah. Okay, so what I do is or fold them like that, long ways. And then you just take your scissors and you cut up, and then you get a nice little fish tail. Oh, that's how they do that. Yep. Oh, see, okay. a trick. I did not there know that go. trick. I did not figure that out all these years. So just make sure you cut the, <laughs> cut the right way. Okay. And then you can, you know, stick your bows in a little bit if you want to. Make them curvy. Oh, okay. that's really pretty. And there you have it, your Christmas tree. Awesome, Vinny, that is fantastic. All right, thank you much, lady. You're welcome. All right, so I just thought I would add some natural pine cones to it. I thought the, the natural looked good, and I, I just... You can pick these up out of the yard. I mean, you don't have to purchase them. Um, and I just um, am really gluing them right in there. So I just put an ample amount of glue and I place them wherever I think they look good. And I'm gonna do one more here. I did two on the other side. Okay. 
Okay. So I'm going to show you how it looks when it's done. And all you want to do is like hang a little loop of wire on the back to hang it. And it should last you for many years. And uh, again, you can use an owl. You can use really anything you want, any kind of ornament you want. There's all kinds of them out there. A truck, a red truck, which is really popular right now, would look cute. Uh, you could use different color bows, or you can use, you know, the red and black buffalo chuck. It, it can really vary it to suit your style. So that's it for the Christmas wreath. Okay, so I was just going to show you here that it's really pretty easy to make a, a, a bow for your, your wreath. Um, again, two tricks. Get, be sure and get wired ribbon because you can kind of manipulate your bow to look pretty. And also, if you can, get two-sided because with this one, which is only the pretty side on one side and then, well, I don't know if you can tell on there, but this side is kind of a brown and this is a shimmery sil silver. Um, and I'm gonna have to twist it so that the silver is to the outside, which is okay, but it's just a little bit more work. So take your, your wreath and just kind of, I mean, your wreath, your bow, your ribbon, and just kind of pinch it together. Um, pinch it together on the other side. Okay, so you have a loop and then you want to twist it so that the shimmery fabric is to the outside. And then you loop it again. And just kind of make sure your loops are even. And again, it takes, you know, three or four, depending on how big you want your bow to be. You could do a two loop bow. I mean, if you just want two loops, you can do that. If you want to make more full, you can make more loops. So you just twist. And like it's kind of, you know, the more you get, the more loops you get, the harder it is to kind of hold in the center, but you just got to kind of hold it real tight. Have your wire, your floral wire ready. Okay, so then another bow, another loop rather. Give it a little twist. And another loop. Okay, so then once you get it to the fullness that you want, you take just take your wire, and I usually like kind of bend it over so that I can just kind of slide it in. Okay, and once you get it in position, just take it to the back and give it a good twist. I like that because like some people use uh, pipe cleaners. I don't like them. I like the wire better. Um, so then you just kind of make your bow. And, and you can um, actually make a little tiny loop to put in the center of it if you want to. You don't have to. Half the time when you're making these wreaths, they're going to be it stuck in and so this is all going to be kind of pushed forward and you and, and the wire doesn't even show so there you there you go that's, that's how you make a, a wreath i mean that's how you make a bow and wow. again you know you can manipulate it I, I made this one pretty quick but you can be a little bit more careful and you know you can measure out if you feel like you want to measure out i usually just kind of eyeball it but these to make their shirt are the same length you can start with two the same length two on each side and then go a little shorter on the top ones and it usually makes kind of like that you know kind of makes like that and that's it how to make a bow just cut off your tails and you're ready so you got your little thing, so that wire. I don't ever cut that off, depending on what I'm going to do. Um, so if you're going to make a wreath or something, it's easy to just use that to, to tie it to the wreath. That's it.